what's clicked? What's changed? You were did see some of the bad times here. What now you you're enjoying the good times and you can obviously play at any sort of venue, including Thunderbird this weekend, and bring that sort of winning style of football. What do you see that's changed? Uh, and looking back at it now, bro, I took a chance um, to come to this club um, when I was down in the dumps and yeah, I wouldn't change it for the absolute world. I'm proud to be a Bulldog and I'm, I'm glad that I'm here for the good times. Um, you know, Ciro, Gus and everyone's brought the right people in and um, I'm just so happy to be a part of this proud club. Um, it means the absolute world to be a part of this club. So I just can't wait for, for the, what, the, what the future holds for us, us boys and obviously the fans and, and the... In the club, um, we've worked so hard um, over the last 18 months or ever since Sierra's been here, so I'm um, just enjoying every moment um, and just, yeah, just want to, um, just want to play consistent football for, for my footy team, so I'm just happy to be here at the moment. Right, you're involved in so many different final series when you're with Melbourne. The hype down there, though, is completely different. Um, no, nah, definitely not. Um, before I signed with the club, everyone spoke how passionate our fans were. And, um, they've definitely, they're definitely awakening, or they're wa awake, or whatever you want to call it. Um, I'm so proud to represent them every week and every day. Um, definitely got the, the most passionate fans in, in the NRL. Everyone says it's probably the closest to, you know, everyone knows that our soccer fans are um, really passionate. It's probably the closest thing to those those fans um, overseas. So we're so proud to represent them every every day and every weekend. So um, hopefully we can keep making them proud and that's what we plan to do. So. You know what it takes to win, obviously. Yeah. What does this team need to do in the next four weeks before finals yeah. to make sure they're ready? We know what works for us. Um, we know the game plan, um, and I, th I feel like if we stick to those things and work on those things every day, which we have been for the last how many months it's been, whatever, so I feel like if we keep doing those things, ticking those boxes every game and, and every day, um, we'll get the result on the weekend, no doubt. I feel, I feel like we, with all due respect, we we can go with any team. And um, I, feel like we're, I feel like we're the most consistent team in NRL at the moment. Um, so... Did you see Chris' face <laughs> the other night? And was it, was it a bit disturbing to see those sort of marks on his face? All I seen was a busted nose, bro, and that's it. That's it. As his nose now. Yeah, <laughs> all scratches and that all over. I don't know, yeah. <laughs> um, back to the Bulldogs. Yep. Obviously, always <coughs> like a gritty team, a grinding team, yep. dogs of war mentality. Yep. But you've become known as the entertainers. I'm sure people around the world have heard you talk about To have that weapon where you can just throw it around and be unpredictable, mm. is a weapon, right? Nah, yeah, it's... Trust me when I say we've put the work in it over the last... Since the, since the pre-season and... Um, we definitely work on, like, the physical side of things, but I feel like Trav and Ciro and the coaching staff and the performance staff have um, really worked on our, our mental strength and I feel like we're a really uh, resilient and mentally strong team, so... I feel like that's a big part of why we're going so good. Um, I know we've been in a successful team before and um, we were a mentally strong team back then too. So I feel like we're right up there with the best and um, we can go with anyone. So we just need to keep doing what we're doing. Like I said before, we know what works for us and if we stick to those things, we can um, really upset other teams. So um, yeah, it's, it's been mad. It's been mad so far. Said to Mac, just before, it's the fittest you've ever been. Is it the biggest you've ever been? Yeah, most definitely, most definitely. It's uh, I think I played about 80, 85, 86 kilos last year and um, blew up like a balloon. I'm probably about 90, 95 kilos now, so probably took a toll on my legs as well, um, just because I've never been so heavy. And like I said, I trained so hard over the last 12 months just to get where I wanted to be. And um, you know, it definitely is. The biggest I've been, um, but ever since um, getting injured with my hemi, it set me back a bit, but I'm trying to get to where I was before before the hemi, so just got to 
tick every box every day and, and every weekend and um, and do what I have to do to get where I want to be. Seemingly, and I've lost any pace, mate, so to be able to put on 10 kilos and still be fast, yeah. it's pretty big. No, it is, it is. Um, yeah, I, was, I was finding some momentum there just before I get, got injured um, when we played the Knights and I was pretty disappointing. I didn't think it was going to be eight, nine week injury. Um, but it is what it is. Everything happens for a reason. And, um, yeah, hope you can keep playing consistent football now and keep getting my body right every day and every weekend. So, um, and that's what I plan to do, but I'm really enjoying football and life at the moment. You reckon you fast for a slow? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's always room for improvement, bro. Um, like I said, it's been a tough eight weeks and probably limited to uh, what I could do out on the training paddock. So just just got to tick every box um, to strengthen uh, what I need to. So, um, but yeah, I'm just focused on doing works, what works for the team. Um, and I've got a really good idea, and everyone has a really good idea what that looks like. So I'm just really focused on that. And um, I know at the start of the year, mate, the boys were sort of giving it to you about the meat diet and the... Yeah, you know, <laughs> they give it to me every day still now. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Like, tape it off on that and realise nah. that it's, it's working or are you still copying? Nah, when it comes to the Fox bar, they, they give it to me every day. <laughs> <laughs> only because I give it to them, bro. Only because I give it to them, but... Um, all seriousness, uh, I, was, I was doing the carnival diet for about three months uh, before the pre-season and during the pre-season. Then I had to change a few things. Um, Having a bit of carbs and that just to give a bit of energy, but um, it is t- it, it was tough, bro. It keeps you disciplined, but it does sting the pocket a bit, a, a pocket a bit. So, um, but I'm eating normal now. Still, um, still have my weight on me, so which I'm ha- really happy about. So, yeah, bro, it's all uh, all giggles always, but so. It's good. I know I'm averaging 16 tackles these days, but no one talks about that. <laughs> <laughs> just quietly. <laughs>